Easy now, and welcome back. That sound can only mean one thing. It's raining, and that means we've got to bring out our Nazgul and check how waterproof she is. Uh, it's properly chucking it down. This will be the very, very first test, and to say I'm nervous is a bit of an understatement. Um, I pay for my own stuff, I'm not sponsored, I don't get any discounts. It would cost me, it'd take me about another six months to be able to save up to replace this at the moment as one of my two main drones at the moment. This stuff has to work. The weather is really bad. Um, we're going to get on, we're going to do a little flight and fingers crossed this stuff works. Um, this is a genuine test and uh, we will see how it goes. So if you haven't already, subscribe, like and hit the bell for further content, further waterproof testing. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so I've just flown the first battery. Done about three minutes. As you can see, it's very wet. No issues, no problems. Flew exactly how we expected. The nice coat of Rain-X on the lens meant if you do a few manoeuvres or what have you. As you can see, just blow on it, the water starts to bead off. No issues at all. Um, let's put a second battery on it and go again. Okay, that's the second battery done. Um, rain it's on the lens is great. You have to do some funky moves to get it to move, but it works really, really well. Um, may reapply it after each battery might work better. We'll give that a go later if we need to. Everything's working fine. Everything's happy. Nothing's getting hot more than anything ever did. Um, I'm going to run a few more batteries through it. I'm going to show you a bit of footage from the DVR and... Uh, then we'll sum up and see what we're saying when we get to the end. So, enjoy.
Okay, so that's been six batteries, been flying for just over half an hour, and uh, the quad is saturated all the way through, super soaked. You can hear how loud the rain is, it's absolutely hammering it down, and the quad is perfectly fine. No issues, no warnings, no changes in flight characteristics, no extra heat. Um, so yeah, I've literally brought it in for a landing and then I've put it onto uh, turtle mode so I can spin the props, get some of the moisture out of them. Um, I'm going to dry it off with a bit of a towel, take it home, open it up and see what the insides look like. And then before this video is wrapped out, I will fly the drone again to make sure that it still works after this uh, watery adventure it's had today. And as long as it survived, we'll then move on to more extreme testing. So uh, let's get it back home and see what it looks like. So back at home, taking the top off. There's a little bit of water in there. There's nothing pooling and such. Uh, it seems to be draining off nicely. There's quite a lot of moisture around the motor connectors. Obviously because they're on the side and, and the propeller has been throwing in moisture. Uh, but they're all covered as well so it should be fine. No issues with video transmission or anything. So all in all, it looks like it's worked and it looks like it worked really, really well. Nice and simple to do. Um, and today the rain was absolutely crazy. I spent most of the time doing flips and stuff to try and clear the lens, as you'll probably see. Um, but yeah, rain X on the lens is an absolute must. Probably reapply it every couple of batteries if it's raining hard like it was today. Um, but before we finish, I'm just going to go for a quick flight when it's dry and make sure that it still functions exactly how it should and make sure that the rain and the moisture doesn't cause any damage over the next week or two. Okay, so here we are a couple of weeks later. Um, first thing to notice is the motors. There's no signs of any damage or corrosion on the top or on the bottom of any of them. Motors are all fine. Um, as for all the batteries I've used in the rain, they're all perfectly fine. And as for the quad, it runs perfectly still. I've put about 12, 14 batteries through it. Um, in the last two weeks, it's been a bit windy to fly too much. Um, but so far, it's doing really good. Um, so yeah, take this time to like this video, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll fly it a few more times and we'll come back within the month and then we'll see, make sure that over the course of a month, flying it in the rain, does anything actually happen? So I know whenever you watch any of these videos, I always want to know, but is it all right long term? So let's find out. Okay, it's been a little longer than I thought. It's actually been six weeks since we first waterproofed it and flew in the monsoon rain at the start of this video. Since then, I flew several packs for the first couple of weeks. Uh, not a lot. And I checked it and it was okay. Um, I've then since flown it in really heavy fog, which there'll be a little video of. Basically, don't do it, you can't see anything. So uh, what we're doing now is after six weeks, after a few more batteries, I'll tell you about my experiences in a minute. But we're just going to have a quick check. Look, no damage to the windings of any of the motors. They've not corroded in any way. They're still lovely as they should be. And when we check inside as well, there's no sign on any of the solder joints or on any of the joints to whether there's been any water getting to them, no ingress. Everything's sealed off lovely. Um, so yeah, basically, the long and the short of it, it works. I've had no problems whatsoever uh, flying in that monsoon rain. Initially, I didn't have enough um, rain -X on the lens, so it was a little bit harder to get the water to bead up and fall off. Um, once I got a couple of coats on there, it started to be fine, just do a quick little flip, flip the water off, 
as I mentioned, flying in fog. Basically, the particles of water are so small, the little, little tiny driplets, they take a while before they form into a proper drop on the screen. So you end up flying around with tiny little particles of water on your screen, uh, and you can't really shake them off. They're not big enough and form into a bead. Um, and also, well, as you'll see in the footage, as soon as I went 30 feet off the ground, you could not see at all. Um, but yes, no problems whatsoever at all. No errors. As I said, my only thing I would mention is when I finish, I put it into turtle mode, spin the motors backwards, make sure I spin all the motor out, uh, all the water out before I turn it off. Um, I've done nothing special. I've not dried it out between times. I've literally just put it up and then got it back out when I've needed to. And everything's perfect. As I said, you can't tell it's been waterproof from the outside. Um, everything works as it should do. I'm not having any issues with flight whatsoever. And here we are six weeks after the initial rain and there's no damage. So these videos you see and you're like, what happens in the long run? Here we go. I finally answered it in one video. Within six weeks, nothing happens. Everything's good. Same with the batteries. No damage to the batteries at all. Um, they're still holding charge, charging right, and the cell vault, uh, cells are all as they should be. Um, so yeah, the waterproofing in this case has worked really, really well. So now we're going to move on to stage two and uh, test it some more. A bit more hard tests coming up. Any suggestions, write down in the comments below. Uh, I'm going to gradually step things up. So give me some ideas on what we can do to gradually step things up to test just how waterproof this is and if there's a line it cuts off at. So I hope this has helped. If it has, please drop me a like. Stay tuned, subscribe, and I will catch you all on the next one.